Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at something that I did not even know existed until today when I had a viewer over on Twitter actually uh, mention this to me. And when I first heard about this, I thought this would be really, really cool to share with you guys. For those of you who uh, don't know about this, what we're going to be taking a look at today is the recreation of the Windows File Manager for Windows 10. What this essentially is, is a new version of the file manager that was originally introduced in Windows 3.1. Yes, back in the 90s, Windows 3.1 came with a file manager, which was essentially the uh, predecessor to the Windows Explorer that would allow you to browse all the files on your system. Microsoft has recreated that for Windows 10. Now, I do want to highly emphasize that this is nothing new. This project was released over a year ago on January 21st, 2019, but I somehow uh, completely miss this, and for those of you out there who did not know that this existed either until today, that's why that I'm making this video, uh, because I just think this would go really well with the kind of content that I create on this channel. Now, the other cool thing is this is actually open source. You can go on to GitHub, and Microsoft has actually published the source code for this, and they tell you a little bit about it down here, and they basically say the Windows File Manager lives again and runs in a native x86 and x64 desktop app on all currently supported versions of Windows. If you were using an older version of Windows, you could just come to the GitHub page. I will also have this link down below and you could directly download uh, everything from here, which is pretty awesome. And even if you're slightly interested in this, I would recommend just downloading it because I mean, this only takes up 7.44 megabytes of space on your hard drive, so chances are you probably have room for this. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at this piece of software. So I've got it downloaded right here. Now, when it launches right off the bat, you're really going to only notice two major things that are going to differentiate this program from the version in Windows 3.1. Number one is the theme. Obviously, this is not going to utilize the older classic Windows 3.1 theme. It does actually uh, utilize, in the case of the file uh, browser windows themselves, it actually has the Windows Vista and Windows 7 basic theme. Uh, that it's using for those windows. The only other major difference is the fact that the title bars for these windows is uh, off-centered to the left as opposed to being centered in the Windows 3.1 version of the program. But aside from that, everything else, the interface, uh, how these buttons are laid out, the options in the menu bar are pretty much identical to what we saw in the Windows 3.1 version. And just to show you guys, here is the Windows 3.1 version of the file manager and you can see that we have the same file, disk, tree, view, options. Uh, the only one we're actually missing is the tools menu. Uh, that's the only uh, menu bar item that we're missing, but we've got window and help. Uh, we've got the drive selector right here. Below that we have all the different drives that the program recognizes. So you see we've got our C drive and the D drive in the Windows 10 version. All of these buttons here, you can see uh, they all are here. The Windows 10 version does actually include some additional buttons. We've got these two options right here which correspond to sharing folders. Uh, you can actually still do that from here. There's also this X button over here which is a, a delete button. The Windows 3.1 file browser did not have that but you can see that the general interface is exactly the same and I just think this is really cool because like I said this is a recreation of the file manager for Windows 10. Now how does it work? Well it works uh, just as you would expect the file manager too. We can browse uh, all the contents on our disk. You see we've got our C drive here. It actually tells us what file system that the drive is. In this case it's NTFS. We can go into let's say program files. Let's say that I want to launch uh, Internet Explorer. I can go in here and here is iExplore.exe. You see all the icons are actually the older 3.1 icons. You can see that as well in the Windows 3.1 uh, version of the file manager here. They have actually brought all the icons over. And uh, just like you know from Windows Explorer, you can launch programs directly from here. So I just launched iExplore.exe. Here's Internet Explorer opening up, and it obviously will you know do that for every other exe file that you launch. So uh, yeah, that is how you launch programs from it. Obviously, pretty self-explanatory. They've actually minimized the about window. It does not open the standard you know Winver window, which looks like this, where it actually you know has like the Windows 10 banner up here and the version number and all of that. This just says Windows File Manager version. 10.1.3.0. It's licensed under the MIT license, so that's obviously something that uh, the Windows 3.1 version uh, did not have. It was not licensed under an open source license. Uh, just for reference, this is what the uh, help and about menu looks like in Windows 3.1. It obviously just pulls the standard 
uh, Windows About box. It obviously just says File Manager in this case. So yeah, that is uh, another you know minor difference. Uh, and just like in the Windows 3.1 version, I can you know select a different drive here. So if I want to go to my CD drive right here, I've actually got a Windows 95 setup disk. Just like with the C drive, it does recognize the file system of this drive, which in this case is CDFS. This is something that the Windows 3.1 version did not do. You can see we don't have the uh, type of file system display like right after the drive here. So that is a new feature that they've added. And just like in the 3.1 version, I can open up multiple windows. You can see that in both these versions here. That's just how the file manager worked. It was very similar to the program manager for Windows 3.1 because the program manager obviously uh, if I kind of bring this to the center here, uh, the program manager would contain all of your program group windows and the file manager was the same with your different uh, file browser windows. So like I could, you know, be browsing multiple drives at the same time. So the version for Windows 10 here obviously functions exactly the same. So as for the use case of this, is this something that you're going to see a lot of people using? Well, obviously not. Uh, this is mainly just, I personally think this is just kind of like a fun program that's kind of like a side project somebody started at Microsoft. I might be totally wrong, but that is just my educated guess because th this is obviously not something Microsoft is including by default in Windows 10, it would be pretty cool if they did. Uh, but you know, they obviously have a much better uh, file browsing, you know, program in Windows, which is the Windows Explorer or the File Explorer, which you know just has uh, you know more more functionality. It's more modern, and everybody is used to it at this point. Uh, so throwing something like this into Windows 10 would would probably confuse people. But I think that it's pretty cool, and that's really why that I made this video. I just kind of wanted to share this with all of you guys who watch this channel. I know this uh, channel has a focus on vintage software, vintage technology. We take a look at a lot of older Windows uh, software and programs. And I just thought this would really fit in nicely with the regular content that you guys are used to. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week here on this channel. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or video suggestions for me, be sure to leave those down below. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.